Oops. Whoa. Whoa, I did I missed what he said, but we get rewards for this? Wow, okay. I, I didn't know we did. Okay. Uh <laughs> we're at Tingle Island, by the way, just as a recap, but Okay. Um if we talk to his brothers, then they'll give us rupees. Talk to Tingle. Heave ho. Talk to Tingle. Talk Tingle. To Tingle. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Mr. Fairy! The Tingle Tuner is definitely quite fun, but meeting face to face and talking to person is better. It is the best. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? <laughs> wah! W w why? I don't think I've ever seen a wallet so tiny. There's so little room in it that you must be throwing away most of those beautiful sparkly rubies that rupees that you find. How tragic. Maybe you should kindly ask the fairy on the island north of here for assistance. Y yes when you ask a fairy for help, good things are bound to happen, sir. <laughs> Next time, bring me one of my favorites, a chart, that I haven't seen yet. Please, s please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come and visit a Tingle Tower again, where wonderful ma fairy magic takes the, makes the place spin and spin. You can leave him forever. Ugh. Wonderful fairy magic, I'm sure. No, it's called slavery. Yeah, sadly. Ooh. Oh, now I can call you. Okay, I couldn't call him while he was up. Okay, get the mail. Good evening. Just skip it. We have a lot to do this episode. I'd rather not waste time. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crests and return to me, Orca. I feel like he was writing very loudly. I'm pretty sure he doesn't quite know how to write, and so he wrote what he could understand. Anyway, before we leave, there is one thing that I would like to get. On this little plateau of Tingle Island is a blue choo-choo. And there are a limited number of blue choo-choos in the game. To be specific, there are exactly 20. And they actually give you something for collecting all of these choo-choo jellies. So we're going to be getting this blue choo-choo jelly and then killing... Well, kill him. I got it. I don't have to kill him. Okay, leave then. Leave if that's what you want. Ugh. Okay, go ahead, and, go ahead and leave. We've already set oh. the wind in our direction. <laughs> the King of Red Lion's head was all twitchy, and let's head north. Also, I am rather impressed that we have this many hearts this early on in the game. Well, we made a, a point of it. Yeah, but we've gotten eight heart pieces. Eight heart pieces? We have. We've gotten eight heart pieces. I have to do annotations for each one. So that's only two complete hearts. Yeah, but normally we would only have six, uh, five hearts right now, and we have seven. We've almost completed our first row. That's that's impressive. Get that treasure. That's the rule. Get the treasure. Even though we have four rupees? Yep, get the treasure. It saves us time later. It may be a bad idea, but I'm thinking that it's not. You missed it. Never mind. Nailed it. Uh, you didn't hear anything. In fact, I edited that out. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Link's face. I really wish this was under Toilet Princess mechanics, where if you can't hold it, you'll put it back. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, purple ruby. We might have to stop doing that. Maybe. We might have to get rid of that rule. Okay, are we there yet? This Does is... it look like we're there yet? Uh, I don't know. We're supposed to be going there. Tingle? just thought you'd like to know that we're going I here. I can see it. I just... Do you see that? <laughs> I just blew up the island. <laughs> Wasting my money. It's my money. Besides, we, we could use to throw some away. I hold the GameCube controller. Windfall it Island is, is money. close, he said. What? Oh, we hit a warp point. Really? Where are we? Oh, oh we're, we're here. Okay. okay. It just it just teleported us for whatever reason. That happens every now and then. Yeah, that was awkward. There's a whole little cutscene for it, too. Also, do you want to see Merman to get Windfall Island marked on our map? It's already done. I know. And we didn't have to see Merman to do it. Dirty Merman. He's a dirty man. 
Okay, are we, we're, we should be there yet. Ooh. What is it I'm looking at? Check it out. Wow, it smells of treasure. What might we find, sir? I found a treasure. It's right here. Did you appreciate that? No. No? <laughs> no. But I'm so helpful by saying, hey. Oh, man, we're well, back. Would you look at that? It, it is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the town's folk. What? Pretty sure they could see that. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Alright. Now, we could talk to people, but... Using deductive reasoning, if they want to get past a stone wall, which the postman talked about, they would need bombs. And using my telekinetic powers, I know that that is the bomb shop, even though we never visited it on our first visitation. So if that's the bomb shop, then we should enter through the front entrance. Front entrance. Front entrance. We're close today, so scram. Now. And using our other telekinetic reasoning... Um, Deku Leaf. The wind is going the wrong way. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, then sidle. It's not letting me... Eh. Sidle. Eh. There you go. Okay. So, if we go behind here, once again, I'm skipping a lot of the steps that the new player would take to do this. We could go and talk to the townsfolk, but just for the sake of time, it's easier if we do this. I hope you understand. Does that make sense, Nova? Yeah. I mean, we've played this before. We know what to do in our sleep. Yeah, pretty but much. It, it it would be comfortable to to talk to people, but it's just easier to do this. So go in there. <clears throat> um. Looks like he's he's offering a very special discount. <laughs> Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we ha we absolutely got to have those bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So, so I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? <laughs> yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. It's totally <laughs> not intentional. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at Outset, yeah? So when I saw the, pro the postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. Ouch. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two get married and have a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. <laughs> you idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good old eat good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, I, I, I'm fine either way, of course, but whatever you say is fine. Uh, but miss is what I meant to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And we can't help to th but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper, proper layover. So, what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? 
Who's for, who's for a night of fun? <laughs> that guy's kind of creepy. He looks like a a me gone wrong. You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? <laughs> Say there, er... Wait, who's saying that? Who's talking? The little guy. Say there, brother. What was today's password again? He's doing that thing again. <laughs> he ruins every cutscene because he's awesome. Mako, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Let's speak in the presence of our captive because that's a good idea. Today's password is Chumily. Yeah? Remember? You know that Nico wouldn't let you in if you didn't say it. If you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it. So I'll say it once more. Today's password is Chumily. Yeah? Once again, written in blood. Chumily, eh? Chumily. And that's cool, because that, that resets in different different logs. They obviously didn't see Tetra look up at the attic suspiciously. Or wink at the attic. Okay, don't bother with the pot, just leave. Okay. Ooh, rupees. Never mind, go, go back in the- go- no, 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 back. I, I, no, 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 back, 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 Nova. Back barrels. Barrels. We only have room for eight more rupees. Yeah, and this will do that. Okay, you can leave. Surprisingly, he only got green rupees. Stupid man. <laughs> I know, he was selling, like, ten bombs we had for 10,000 rupees. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely insane. Also, the screen was kind of pixely there for a moment. Okay, uh, let's go to the ship, because... Tangle, shut up. <laughs> He's talking about how Link misses Miss Tetra. And he wants us to look in front of the post box and say hi to it and hug it and pet it. How do you treat a shark? <laughs> um, Chumily? <laughs> it's a pun, don't you get it? Not real. I mean, I get chum, but it's a really bad pun. Do we do it, Chamily? Right, right. You may enter. But don't kill anyone. Set this boat on fire, or I'll send you. No, you know, never mind. Go ahead and go in the room straight ahead. Because we can't. We couldn't go in Tetra's room before, and we can look in it now. One cool thing is that the. No, right, right, right. No, left, 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 left. What? Left. That. That's the picture from the opening cutscene of the game. Also, she has a gigantic bed. Yep. And this is actually a map of the Great Sea. And it will correlate and make sense a little bit later in the game. I'll look right. Um, that's also a picture. Yeah, that's also a picture from the opening cutscene. Um, oh, hey, it's the constellation Orion. Yeah, it's Orion. What else is in here? Another right. thing from the I, I pointed that legend. Out. Oh, and this. And what we can only assume is her mother? I guess. Father, or brother, or dog? I don't know. Go ahead and move on. What's in. Oh, that. <laughs> I was like, what's in that door? Oh, great. Oh, Link! My swabby, Link! So you're still alive! All the other pirates said you'd got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you want to kill me. Oh, wait, uh, you missed me so much. <laughs> I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in the town having fun and eating and stuff. 
But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Yeah, we're just on our knees right now. <laughs> Alright, why don't we set up set you up for your next test, huh? This one's harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, Swabby. I kind of, I'm kind of envious of you right now. I want to do his test. You can see the lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time you pressed the switch, platforms rise for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the other rope. Pretty tough. <laughs> and that's not all. This time, I put a gate on this door, too. This switch opens the gate, but it will close if you don't if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Who's he calling the little swabby? <laughs> now I'm locked in here for all eternity. The switch open that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before the time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. My throat's wearing thin from this. <laughs> give it your best shot, Swabby. You know, if this wasn't a story requirement, we could walk away and leave him locked up in there. Forever. Okay. Ooh. Do it. All right. I may not. I may distract you. I may not. I may bring out my fledge voice. <laughs> no, don't you dare. Pumpkins. Swa <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What's this swastikas? Okay. <laughs> what? I was trying to think of things random. I uh, wanted an S, but okay. Maybe too random, I guess. Lanterns. If I time it perfectly, I can skip ahead to the second lantern. Party balloons. Ostriches? Oh, I'm good. Politics. Electric boogaloo? Pal? I guess you don't want to hear about the electric boogaloo. Mario's a fish. You're running out of time. You're f you don't have much time left! You're just jealous that I'll do this on the first try, and Pumpkins. it took you five million times Jeez. to do the easy one. Marshmallows. Pillows? What? You've gotta be... You did it already? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're incredible! This isn't just good. This isn't good. I've never been... I've never even passed this test. Wait, he just did! <gasps> dun dun dun! How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? And if I give it to him, everyone will know for sure. I'll be so busted. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, really serious, okay? Okay. What was that voice? Electric boogaloo again! <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what that means? We got the bomb! You can carry up to 30, pull one out and then press A to throw it, or set it at your feet, using bombs while the boat and the scoop- No! I'm skipping this so you'll stop okay, talking. I'm done. That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates! <laughs> so intense. I suppose I should be shocked, but after all, I'm amazed you've managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. That's Sauron, by the way. Sauron's talking to us now. <laughs> From the look on your face, I've yet I've I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? Huh, uh, uh. You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking about how badly things could go for you. Just like now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one- also this is Tetra, so you should be hearing the voice, but this is just too good. No one- no one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure too. Right now, Jabun is hiding in the, at the cave in the back of the island you were born on. 
at the but the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer. But we're leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all our bombs. You'd, be you'd better be quick, kid. Okay, let's leave. Quickly. I uh, I actually we're probably not going to get all the things done this this time that I wanted to get I done. I think we were a little ambitious in our plan. We were really ambitious. We were like, oh yeah, we'll get three three great fairies knocked out of the way. Um, we'll go defeat Ganondorf. We'll go defeat Ganondorf. I mean, like it's a quick battle, boss battle. We should be able to knock it out really quickly. That's my scheduling voice. Um, but <laughs> things don't really dash out like that. Okay, go ahead and jump off the ship. Hey. Gee, Mr. Fair, you miss Ted Tingle already? Do you see Tingle's face everywhere you go? When you use the Tingle tuner, he is near you, protecting you. Okay, you Well like blowing us up. Go go away, Tingle. We don't we hate you. <laughs> I'm not saying we hate you, but you could die in a fire. Okay, go um. get he's at the docks. So now we can leave. I, I'm actually thinking we will be able to get some of the stuff done that I wanted to get done. Like the great fairies or two of them spoilers but i mean not spoilers okay let's let's chart a course <sighs> cutting to charting course. <sighs> oh never mind well done our preparations are complete if what the girl says is true the pirates won't be leaving until morning you must meet with jabun and get the pearl from him before they arrive let us delay no longer link you know what that voice is right no perfect cell mm. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, chart your course. South. Straight up, just south. We go straight south from here, and it will take us by the South Boulevard in South Street next to South and Main. In Southern... Southerington. In the Southern Hemisphere in the South with NASCAR. All right, now if we chart a course straight south from here, I always liked going south somehow. Nice. Felt like going downhill. Also, I got the whole three great. Oh wait, no, no, I'm right. We, we can. Okay, so keep going south until you hit uh, a certain quadrant, which I will tell you. Uh, we should be able to get an upgrade for one of the things that we just got, and then an upgrade for one of the things we just got, and then an upgrade for one of the things we just got. It works out that way. You're so specific. That way, we get an upgrade for what we just got. So. There's something here. Floating barrels, okay. Uh, as Tingle, I need to proactively check things out. Uh, what? I, I warned you about that, by the way. Uh, Tingle's <laughs> warning you about the cyclones. Was there a bomb barrel? Yes, oh. and I warned you about it. Oh, no. Uh, you get out, get out, get out. You're almost in the radius. Uh, that is a cyclone like no other. That will actually suck us into it. Uh, if we get within a certain radius of it, it will... Just lock us into a cutscene of it sucking us in, and it will warp us in a random place in the Great Sea. And the thing is, is that moves deceptively fast. It's moving maybe about three quarters of the speed of our so of our boat. Big, you can't really tell when it's coming closer or not. Yeah, but thankfully we're running straight away from it now, so we should be good. And despite the illusion that it's curving the wind into it, it won't do that until you're right on top of it. So, also, we're not break we're breaking the rule just this once because we're not getting that treasure. Okay. We keep really need a bigger wallet. Yeah, that's coming soon, actually. I mean, I, I'm not going to say spoilers because we're getting the upgrades as they come. So, but we're going to be getting a bigger wallet soon, so we won't be worrying about this 200 rupee limit. In what is that? D D6. In D6, there is a, a fairy island. There are four fairy islands in the game, besides Tingles. Tingles is kind of an invitation. Um, and this, go ahead and go in. This is Southern Fairy Island. And the, the thing that it gives pertains to the item that we just got. But also, I forgot to mention that I'm going to be showing all of the blue choo-choo locations in the game. I mentioned that there are limited ones, but I didn't mention anything else. Uh, no, go ahead and get the, the blue choo-choo while you're here. Oh. Oops. Get the blue choo-choo. Okay. Blue choo-choo. On all the fairy islands, there is a blue choo-choo. There it there is. is. 
sad. You had to kill this one. And we'll get... Blue Chuchu Jelly from it. Now go inside. Don't bother with post box yet. We can we can get that on outset. We don't need it now. So by using our bomb, we can go in here and get a nice upgrade. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> that was that was one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen. There's the fairy. Or rather, that's the fairy. A much better design. They, they still look a little bit weird, but they're better than Ocarina of Time uh, by far. And Majora's Mask. Uh, I remember when we first saw those when we were little. Uh, oh. Nightmare fuel. This is a little bit based off of the the Great Fairy design from Ocarina of Time beta. The beta of Ocarina of Time shows a great fairy that's drastically different than this one. It shows one that's made of crystals. Interesting. It's very pretty. I have no idea why they decided to go with the, the design that they did. So what we just got is a bomb upgrade, which allows us to now carry 60 bombs. Pretty nice. We have, we have full everything. We don't need them. So we have... We can carry 60 bombs, just straight up. First episode, we have bombs. First time, we can use them. Now we have 60. All right, we are in this sector, and there is another big octo for us to grab. And this one is... Pro it probably gives the, the greatest reward, as I think. Is it required for any part of the game? Yes, I believe so. Is it? Okay. So this is probably the most useful reward and it's right... You're past it. It's right here. Oh my goodness. Use your telescope. There. <sighs> Zoom what? in more. Zoom in more. Yes, I see them. How is... You keep passing it. Like, you're going way too far uh, west of it. Way too far. Well, I can't see them when I head out. That's the problem. This yeah. is like the intro for Mario Golf on the GameCube. When Waluigi is putting, <laughs> and he keeps missing the hole put just it, barely. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, I, I, I as Tingle am marking it. So just go straight towards me. A little bit further to your right, to your right, right. Telescope. Oh, I see them right there. Okay, finally, these things are hard. Also, we're <laughs> that was that was fascinating. This we're we're not searching for it in the in the correct light because things are you know story boated and everything's dark. But we have the bombs and this is a good upgrade, so I wanted to tackle it while we're here. The bombs are fairly effective at taking this guy out as they offer a one hit KO to any eye you hit. And this guy's are also one of the easiest one of the easiest octos. He has what, three? Four eyes? Four. Four eyes. That's just I he's, can't believe I didn't notice before that they had different amounts of eyes. He's a really big nerd. He has he's four eyes. Yeah, this this guy is... Oh, and he even captured a butterfly inside. So it was, he's like Francis from Super Paper Mario. Capturing, uh, what's her name? Pixel. Oh, Waker of the Winds. Thanks to you, I've been freed from that beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you but just a little of my power. As thanks, I will stutter awkwardly. One cool thing I like about these fairies is that their coloring matches that of the power they give. This one gives this, and thus there are green petals <laughs> and gr a green flower. Your magic power has been doubled. Yeah, this is this is the greatest reward. May the winds of fortune always blow across your bow. Cool setting. All right, now let's go to Outset Island. We will meet you there. In this quadrant, Headstone Island. Quadrant, my bad, why can't I get that straight? Headstone Island, there is another submarine. They're everywhere. And this one gives us a, a merry reward, but it's submarine, they're cool, and they're battles, and they're excitement, so we're going to show them off. And this particular one has bomb chews. That is the official name of this. Bomb shoes from the first, or not first game, from Ocarina of Time. Okay, could kill them all. Oh. I'm working on There that. are so many. Wow, that's crazy. How they not destroy the submarine? Um, the submarine is made of Moses. 
Is that the hardest material? Yes. No, um... Oh, wow. You totally... You no-scoped that guy. Do you see that? You didn't even target him and he killed him. Please play that again in slow motion. Um, I'll try. <laughs> Get no-scoped, you dirty scrub. <laughs> oh, MLG is a, a funny meme series. Not always appropriate, but funny. Finally. Well, that was easy. It was kind of chaotic, though. <laughs> that no scope, though. This submarine has been brought to you by Michael Bay. <laughs> okay, go up and get your reward. Thankfully, I know what this reward is, not from memory, because that would be Judging crazy. Judging by the chest, I'm guessing it's a treasure chart. Uh, you would be right, but will you guess what the treasure chart gives? Ooh, I know! What? A piece of heart. No. This tr this treasure chart gives us a silver rupee. Oh joy. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be funny if it gave us joy pendant. Uh, but yeah, just a silver rupee, nothing to jump your hat about. Okay, go ahead and leave. Leave. Leave so we can get to outset. This is taking crazy long now. In in the actual episode, it's probably not. It probably doesn't seem like it's taken that long to go places. But for Nova and I, this recording is going on two or three hours, and we've recorded two episodes. So it's kind of crazy how much cutting around Wind Waker will involve. And we're yeah, hungry. I think we're both gr growing a little bit weary of this recording right now. Yeah. Once we get a certain ability later in the game that allows us to travel faster, I will appreciate it a lot. But unfortunately, this is not Wind Waker HD, and we do not have the red sail. The red sail? In Wind Waker HD, there's a certain button you can press while sailing to make the symbol on your sail turn red, in which case you will turn, you will go twice the speed. Whoa. I think it's twice. It may be a little bit less or more, but it's around twice the speed that you would normally go. The sail, I believe, is bigger? Someone could confirm or deny that in the comments. I know someone in the comments is uh, playing through Wind Waker HD on this channel. So, uh, go ahead and confirm and deny that if you could. Um, but it does make it a lot faster, so you don't, you're don't you not really gimped from... Well, it makes Let's Playing easier, rather. Does this make you faster? I'm pretty sure it makes you slower. But you know what? You're, you're doing fine. <laughs> and... Are we there? <laughs> yeah, we're there. Do not stop for Merman. Just collide with Beetle's boat and cause a shipwreck. Have you noticed, Link? Morning is not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, the island, the land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to go visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaban after you do. Link. I am perfect, Cell. I will ascend to my final form. You know what? <laughs> Good job. I did it. <laughs> that is going to be it for this episode. <laughs> Normally, I don't like to show outside weird. No, shut up, Knuckle. Knuckle? No, I don't want to progress Knuckle stories. Um, we're gonna see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, also in case that sentence was unclear, uh, Tingle's long lost brother Knuckles con contacted contacting me in. Uh, the the tuner, and we're, I'm going to ignore him. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, though that schedule might change soon with the advent of college, but for now it's Tuesdays and Saturdays. And I'll see you guys next time for another Pals Play Wind Waker. See ya!